Hello and welcome guys. In the last video we talked about layouts. Today I'm going to talk about templates. What are templates? So layout I hope so all, all of you know what is layout. We have uh, two files, password and theme. So today we are going to talk about template. What are templates? Template are like if we talk about the definition what um, de they define what is rendered on each page e each type of page in a theme so by by template what we mean like for example we want to render a home page in that case we will we'll use index template if we want to work on a product page then we call a product page a product page template and then if we want to work on a cart page then we we have a cart template if we want to work on a customer page we have customer templates so that's how the templates are defined templates are some kind of building blocks in which we can include a uh, code for a particular area for example either page uh, a page product page and home page so we have uh, those sections included in that so it can be of different types file types well uh, previously you know uh, when we uh, when 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 shopify was uh, like two to three years back when shopify 2.0 was not introduced uh, when we clicked on add a new template we only had uh, like i selected this uh, for example article I'll select an article then we only had the liquid template option but nowadays we have JSON file template which is a plus point I'll tell you both of them the difference between them and uh, uh, what are the benefits of using JSON template uh, in comparison to liquid template now if we talk about liquid template I'll uh, for example we can only have one template by this name let's rename this as one two three and i'll just rename it because uh, okay i'll rename it over here it's not over here so we can actually delete it let's either delete it product page template i deleted it and i'll create a new template that's the name of product and that should be a liquid file so okay uh product dot json hmm. so let's okay it's not creating it over here but i'll just try it over here i hope so that might work let's delete this playing from desktop 098l so let's delete uh, let's check deleted from from here and i'll create a new file i'll create a new file that should be product dot json right oh sorry i created the same file sorry uh, product dot liquid that should be product dot liquid product dot liquid right let's create this file and um, let's for example i'll just save it i'll save it uh okay so it's saying that a file name already exists with uh, the JSON extension. So in that case, uh, what we'll have to do is we'll have to wait. So all I had to do is uh, I had to restart the whole server thing. And with that, I was able to upload this product.liquid file and uh, everything here was kind of refreshed i in the meanwhile also added uh, like three products 
just as a sample product and uh, now let's go to products and um, you know if we click on customize and then we have this section this blank section we don't have anything over here so that is one of the drop like if you want to include sections we can actually include sections uh, we can include sections section and what should be the section name the section name should be a like it should be sections section and uh, the name of the section would be the name of the section would be whatever we want to put in so image banner dot liquid so we can have this uh, it should be synced now and let's refresh this part we have this image banner but we we are not able to add more section by ourselves like whatever we want we have to add it manually in this case in case of liquid files now let's go with the json template files what is json template files like i'll just delete it I'll delete it and i'll have to again delete uh, product.liquid i'll delete this and uh, and let's save it it should be there and uh, let's add product.json product dot json right and uh, okay product dot json it says unexpected token so um, we'll have to insert the json format which i'm going to get from uh, over here a simple json format product dot json format in which we'll just add something and save it uh, it does not refer to an existing file type uh, we don't have a type over here let's add a section which should be main product it should be main product main product and now let's refresh this page this customize section and you'll be able to see with the product or json we have the capability to add sections over here so that gives us more power um, more power so that we can add sections in this case and that is that is a good thing which we can implement using dot uh, json templates so that was the difference uh, i wanted to show to you and uh, yeah let's go back to the overview uh, there are different types subtypes so I, I told you these subtypes would be liquid or json uh, now we we have the types would be uh, like either 404 page that uh, refers to a invalid url page article renders uh, like if there is a blog then the blog post single blog post is called an article in that case uh, and normally a blog is called a blog itself so cart you know about the cart the cart is the page in which we are able to uh, show the products which are added to the cart all right then comes the collection collection refers to a list of all the collections by all collections i mean like these collections so whatever we have in here not not here like uh, collection two let's see collection two and uh, manual let's make it manual just for the sake of this this tutorial i'm going to show it to you so if i if i add collections 
then this this thing refers to uh, that particular page so collection then customer account means uh, uh, the account of a customer who is uh, who's there then customers account activate um, customer addresses login and there are several different uh, things about the customer which we have then a gift card gift card dot liquid renders uh, the gift card page and which displays the gift card then index index refers to the home page which i talked about then list collections uh well it's it's uh, all about the collection okay i think so the collection uh, collection f uh, template would be uh this collection not this one but this one i i actually missed it sorry that's my bad this one so that that was the collection all right and list collection is this one so all the collections which are present so for example we have two collections present one is home page one is uh, collection two all right so uh, page uh, renders uh, you know pa page is always uh, the thing which we want to uh, like for example about us page contact us page whatever is uh, not a part of a cart i would say the password page again uh, renders the page uh, what we have in the password template so if we want to uh, enter something in the password page we can just enter using this thing so again uh, the content for the password page is included in this all right then comes uh, robot.txt uh, which is which is not available which is actually uh, it's just visible it's not available over here like if you see there is no robot.txt but if we check this thing we should have it over here we should have it if it is not there we can add it actually so let's add robots.txt that's a txt file and let's save it and well not it, it will not appear anyhow over here because uh, it only shows two t two type of templates one is json and one is dot liquid so uh that's not uh, sorry robot text dot liquid i have completely lost this thing dot liquid so yeah dot liquid is uh, available actually so search uh, is the just the search result page so that's search if we open that all right so that's the search page so that uh, was about uh, the types different types uh well uh, about json uh, json templates uh, we are going to study in detail in the next module about this but uh, I think so uh, you might have a little bit idea now uh, how templates work and in case uh, if I, I I want to add I want to add product alternate template so we can use this uh, product alternate dot JSON so we can uh, create another file new file and that should be the name uh, product dot alter whatever we want dot json right so that's available all right that's available and we can simply use the same thing over here okay so again that's available over here if we want to include something uh, using this so uh, dot json and uh, and again if if we want to uh, change anything over here we can uh, go to customize and then we can click on this and alter 
we can customize this block also and this is completely customizable from the backend if you want to uh, view this page then for example i created for product alter so le let's uh, let's open up a page product page for for now just to show that to you so i'll just view not this one but let's do it this way uh let's do it this way uh well that's how it's looking in our version but uh, i just wanted to see how it looks in the version which we have non-live version so that's how it's looking if i want to see that alternate template okay so product information we don't have anything yet to show let's see yeah it's showing uh something over here but it's not uh, showing complete information i guess uh just because uh, i didn't customize it yet so we can add those information as well but later on at at a later stage so we can add inventory status title we can add sku we can add description we can add a collapsible row whatever we want we can add over here with with, with this uh customizable thing but uh, if I wanted to view this alternate template for this particular product, then what would be the way? Well, the way would be uh, we can just uh, add a question mark. Uh, well, not question mark. Let's see what how it's defined over here. It says question mark view equal to alter. So yeah, I was right. View equal to alter. So now i can see the view which i have in the difference between them is obvious like in this we will have uh, all the title etc but other one doesn't have that so that's another way if you want to add things uh, or and, and use use things uh use templates so uh I think so that's pretty much it for today uh, I'll be back with another tutorial on JSON templates uh, that would be specifically for JSON templates although I try to explain most of the things around over here and uh, hope you understood what whatever I'm uh, I explained in case you have any issues just uh, mention in the comment section so that uh, I can look at those and uh, if you're new to this channel do subscribe the channel and uh, share it with the the ones who are uh, learning uh, shopify and uh, if you want to learn more in shopify then you can just uh, use this thing all right so thank you so much for today and i'll see you next time